In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a course that has to be completed in sequential order. You can see on this demonstration, I've started off with a video that's linked to Canvas Studio, and the students will have to watch that video first, and then they can go through step by step and complete each of the items in the order that they're doing them. To do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here and select the three dots on the right hand side and then you select your edit button. Now we always use edit in order to cover these demonstration things, but guess what, or to cover the top module name, but guess what, there's other things you can do there instead. So I'm going to hit add requirement and then I'm going to go from there, I'm going to hit um, have that students must complete all of these requirements, that box is checked and students must move through these requirements in sequential order. That means they cannot skip a step. And then you have to list each of the items that are located in that particular module you want them to complete. So from there, I'm going to click this box. Students must complete. Oh, no, in, keep it. I'm sorry, keep it in sequential order. And then I'm going to start off by going to the, oh, we got to figure out where it is. Boom, there's the external tools. We've got the, the um, lesson of the video first. And all you can choose on that is to view the item. Next, I'm going to add another requirement. And the next requirement is going to be the one I had listed as a demonstration quiz. And with that one, you can select options. They might have to view it. They might have to submit the assignment, or I like the idea of scoring at least, so let's say we put a score of 90 over 100 in for that one as a requirement for them to get at least that high of a score before they can go on and do anything else. From there, I'm going to take and add the next item, which is going to be question number one, which that's a discussion question. And for this one, we can say either view the item or contribute to the page. So they have to contribute something to the discussion item. And then the next item is going to be a practice quiz. No, excuse me, just practice, an assignment practice. And for that, they can have it is view the item, mark it as done, submit the assignment. I think that's a good one right there. And or to score a minimum number on it. And then the final thing was, yes, another practice quiz. That's going to be this one right here. And once again, I'm going to say for this one, we'll just do submit the assignment. And from there, you update the module. Hit continue. And what happens from this point is when the students access that page, they go to that module, they have to start with the Learn Promethean, navigating the flip chart windows and active expire, and then they have to complete each of these in sequential order, meeting the requirements that you put down in order for them to get credit for it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, I don't know how much I will use that with my students, but I do use it as training programs for our teachers. We've set up a technology training page that's designed for them to work through sequentially, and they have to do the entire thing in order to get credit for having completed it. And it's a way to hold them accountable for doing it all. It's pretty darn cool. Kind of shame you got to hold teachers accountable, though, isn't it? Let me know if you have any questions. As always, feel free to shoot me a message, and I'll be happy to help out as best I can.